After a snowy ride, we head to Kennewick, Washington, where we get a Planet Fitness membership, stay at a Walmart, and work for the week. Now we head through a pass on our way to Seattle, Washington. Hi, my name is Ricky. My name is Brennan. And welcome to our Lives Unscripted. Hello everyone, we made it to our spot here in what I think is the Mount Hood National Forest. We got here when it was kind of dark and we had to use a flashlight to find spots. It looks like what I would expect the Pacific Northwest to look like. Lots of big trees and moss and yeah, it's just a National Forest Road. There's a bunch of different pullout spots where people can tent camp mostly. We pulled the van in here and we're just going to hang out tonight. And there's plenty of mice. Yeah, and I did see a mouse cross the road, so we're fingers crossed that we do not get another mouse in this van. We do have traps this time, we learned our lesson. We don't want to travel with a mouse for two days because sleeping at night with a mouse running around is kind of unnerving. Make sure you always have mouse traps in your vehicle, even if you don't think you're gonna get one. Yes, always carry mouse traps. So, uh, what's going on right now? Turn the lid off. I am absolutely terrified. We were just sitting here working on our computers. And I was like, Brandon, did you kind of hear that noise? No, I said, do you hear that noise? It sounds like something's on our roof or something. And I heard like a loud noise, like something coming through, like fur or cat or something. Something was on the in the van or trying to get in or something. And then like two or three minutes later. I was like, oh, do you hear that little bit of a noise? There might be something in here. And then all of a sudden, it, like, like seriously, like 10 seconds after I said that. This like thing flew over my leg onto my foot and crawled right over my foot. And I was like, oh my god, what the heck was that? Oh. <laughs> so she's like still freaking out. <laughs> I'm like on patrol here. I don't even think it went back in its hole. So I think we got another mouse in the van. Like we are crossing our fingers not to happen. Oh, that was the creepiest thing ever. I've never had a mouse on my foot before. So on your leg and then your foot? No, I was like, I sit like kind of sideways in the chair. Oh yeah, so your foot was up on the seat. Kind of, and then it like jumped, it must have jumped off that cushion, and then it like landed right on my foot and scurried as fast as it could. <laughs> oh. So now she thinks there's a mouse somewhere in here gonna get her. But we just set a, we just set a trap, so hopefully the trap will catch it before we go to bed, so we don't have to like think there's a mouse crawling on us all night long. So just a mouse update here. Um, I just heard the same sound that I heard when the, before the mouse came in in the first place. So that means we either have one mouse that just left, or now we have two mice in the van. Yeah. <laughs> so we I don't know. We set a trap. So we set a trap, but we only have one trap now. So do we have to set another trap because we might have two mice? Okay. Most update, we have two mice in the van. You think you do. Well, you we know. just caught one. Yeah. So we were sitting here and then the trap went off and we both jumped. We got one mouse, one mouse caught and I heard the sound a second time so we probably have two mice in here. We'll just keep our mouse trap set. So we're going to set our mouse trap. We'll just keep it set. If it goes off again, we'll set another one. Yeah. So that is the most update. I want to make Ricky take it out. No! Yep. It was on my foot, Brandon! It was your pal! No! So, we have an update. 
Let's kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just getting ready to take out the mouse that we just caught in the trap. And when we opened the door, there was another mouse in there. Yeah, like he cl was climbing on the trap for the other guy. So we do in fact have two mice in the van. Hopefully we don't get any other ones. So we're going to try to catch that one. Once we catch that one, we're going to put another trap in there. We only have one trap left, so hopefully... I mean, we've only been sitting for a couple hours and we already got two mice in the van. That's not a good sign. If you come to this uh, Shoquami Pass... Did you come to the Shoquami Pass? Do not say this campground. There's lots of mice. I don't know. It's probably just because it's cold outside. Yeah, usually you're fine if it's a warmer weather. The mice don't go in your van if it's warmer. It's just when it's cold out. That's when you get them all. Did you hear that? Because we just trapped another mouse. <laughs> Alright, so update on the mice situation. We just saw another mouse. I visually confirmed it going into our cupboard. I scared it for now. We can still hear it running around. That is three light, three mice in less than four hours. Yeah, it's terrible. So, I mean, two mice is fine, but three, I mean... We're like, we can't even trap them fast enough to I get know. rid of them. So, we have another trap set too. We have another trap set. We're on our last trap. We're just going to go find a different place to sleep. Because yeah, where there's a parking lot and there's no wilderness. <laughs> it is about 10 30. We just made to Safeway. And you can guess what we're getting here. Found most traps. I think we're good. I think that'll do us. Better to be prepared. Let's hope.